Hello there. My name is Michael Henderson, uh, and I'm a surgeon in the Melanoma and Skin Service at the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre here in Melbourne. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the uh, Skin Surgery Masterclass, which is coming soon. Um, and I'm going to be speaking on uncommon and rare types of non-melanoma skin tumours. Now, it seems a bit odd to talk about rare things because it means uh, you'll probably never see them, but that's in fact not quite true. The busy skin practitioner is likely to come across some of these lesions maybe several times a year, but certainly over a lifetime is going to see them not, in, not all that desperately and frequently. Now, the fascinating thing about these is that it, almost invariably the diagnosis is made after a biopsy. There are some of them uh, which are a little more obvious, but the majority of tumours present pretty innocuously, although most are fast growing. The histological diagnosis can be very con confusing and difficult, but it is critical in making the correct diagnosis to, to allow the, the appropriate treatment to proceed. The management of many of these tumours is multidisciplinary because quite a few of them are actually lethal, uh, lethal conditions. There have been most massive strides in the basic science in a number of these tumours, um, and in a number of cases, this has major implications for management. Finally, the management of these tumours is multidisciplinary in nature, and that means that experience has to be shared uh, amongst the various members of the team treating the patient. So here I've listed some of the uh, tumours we're going to speak about. The top two, Merkel cell carcinoma and dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans, make up about two thirds of the rare non-melanoma skin tumours a practitioner is likely to see. Um, both of these tumours um, have had major improvements in their understanding, which has led to quite uh, extraordinary developments in their management. And we'll certainly be discussing the role of targeted therapies um, and immunotherapy in the management of advanced Merkel cell carcinoma and dermatofibrosarcoma protuberans. The next group are the mesenchymal tumours, atypical fibrosanthoma, which is not really a malignancy, but occasionally can behave in a uh, malignant fashion. But the issue is that it may well and is often frequently confused with pleomorphic dermal sarcoma, which sometimes can be confused with undifferentiated pleomorphic sarcoma. You may not be aware of some of these terms, but these represent the updated versions of what in the past would sometimes have been known as malignant fibrous histiocytoma of skin and other, um, other labels. We'll very briefly talk about dermal leiomyosarcoma because that can be a confusing lesion to deal with. Angiosarcoma, uh, specifically of the head and neck. And finally, I'll briefly mention uh, sweat gland tumors. So I look forward to seeing you online um, when we talk about these tumours um, in the near future. All the best and see you then.